Hello people, I'm D Scorpion, and in continuation of Orktober, I'm going to be working on some Hobgrots. Right, to jump into it, you want to prime your Hobgrots with really any sort of primer that you want. I opted to use Wraithbone simply because I was going to be working with a lot of contrast. I don't know what happened to the back here, don't ask. And to start off, we're going to take Blood Angels Red and start covering the body. Now some of you may be thinking, well why are you not painting Hobgrots traditionally? Well, well to put it simply, uh, I was inspired by something different. Hobgrots to me are basically Age of Sigmar's version of the old Warhammer Hobgoblins that did used to exist before, I guess, Games Workshop retconned them out. In addition, I play a lot of Dungeons and Dragons and I just kind of got inspired by the look of those Hobgoblins to act as the Hobgrots, basically. Yeah, pretty much because I always uh, think about, like, hobgoblins as just very slightly bigger, nastier goblins instead of, like, full humanoids and whatnot. So, this is kind of a nice conversion also for Dungeons and Dragons. In addition, I'm also going to be doing this in a batch painting since these uh, hobgrots are from the uh, Dominion box. I also got, like, extras from the uh, Extremist box set that I still need to assemble, but same principle. Next up is Snake Bite Leather, going over all the ropes and leather bits. Another thing I want to note is I'm not really going to be focusing on too much detail or if things get messy, simply because I view this as a horde unit and because of that it's I'm not too concerned about detail. I have a lot of these to get through and I'm not wanting to like push myself to be like, oh I missed this detail, I missed that detail. Like, I don't want to spend the same amount of time on a horde unit as opposed to say like a single standout centerpiece character. So again, it's don't be too afraid to be a little messy. Uh, don't go crazy though. Like obviously do try to be as neat as possible a bit, but it's like if you spill over, like don't worry about it. Next up, we're gonna take Skeleton Horde and go over all the teeth, followed by Voluptuous Pink in some of the open mouths if you can get into them. And then followed up by, I believe, Dryad Bark for like the banner. I do apologize if this shot's a bit blurry just because I had to switch camera positions because in the last Uruk video uh, I realized a lot of my shots basically had my hand or like forearm in the way so I was trying to get a different angle. It's it's a little frustrating just with my workspace at the moment trying to find new space. Anyways once you get all that then we're going to take iron hands and use it on all the metals. The breastplate, the helmets, the knives, the grenades, whatever. Everything metal. Now at this point we basically have all the base colors so now everything is just going to go by fairly quickly because now we are going to take Magus Purple and just go all over like the lower parts of the metal as well as the top spikes of the helmets. Now the next part is kind of a little interesting because I actually didn't really know how I wanted to get the other part of the armor because Hobgoblin armor kind of almost has like a bluish purplish tint and I didn't really know if I wanted to go like full blue, full purple, I didn't know how to mix it so I just kind of tried a few different methods. The first method was with Drakenhof Nightshade. It was basically my original concept and you know just go over all the other metal parts that you didn't uh, paint purple. It wasn't too bad. It, it kind of gave a nice bluish tint to it but it wasn't exactly what I was looking for. Uh, the next step I did was to try Ultramarines Blue which this one wasn't as bad either. It definitely gave more of a blue effect but I feel like it wasn't necessarily the right tone and perhaps like leviathan blue leviathan blue leviathan blue leviathan blue whatever it's called it probably would have worked better the third method was just to use shyish purple just to see like how it would work out and uh this one i'm not super pleased with because it just feels like there's way too much purple on the model a little bit it's just like oh light purple dark purple and uh yeah i wasn't wasn't necessarily too happy with that. And the fourth one, I had originally tried a mix of, a two to one mix of Dragonhoff Nightshade and Magus Purple. Did not really work. It, uh, the first result just, it looked like a very messy purple wash and I did not like it. The second time I tried a two to two mix, or I guess one to one mix of Ultramarine's Blue and Shyish Purple. I then tried a two to one mix of Ultramarine Blue and Magus Purple. This one, unfortunately, I didn't have any footage of because I, the camera I was using, uh, the battery basically died out and I really didn't wanna, I didn't really know if I, how to like go back on it, so I just have the end results. The final process of finishing the painting on the actual models is just to take Flash Gets Yellow and just dot the eyes. It's, 
I was very messy here, and it was also very hard to record this because, like, I had to get in close. I couldn't really see the camera, but, uh, yeah, basically just, just dot the eyes. Again, it's very messy, but I'm not too concerned about that. As a little bit last bit of detail, I add some, uh, Flesh Terrors Red to, like, the blood for, like, the leader. Uh, you could also maybe uh, add some, like, Blood for the Blood God later if you kind of want to make it look a little bit more bloody and whatnot. The final step was just to base the models. You're more than happy to base these models however you want. I just ended up using Black Mud from Vallejo because I was still going for like this uh, swamp theme for the army. Along with that, uh, just add any graphs, tufts, etc. and you're basically good to go. If this does feel a bit rushed or just a bit odd, I do apologize. I wanted to get this done uh, sooner, but it just various things in life right now just kind of kept me from working on it. But let's just say a family matter kind of soured the mood. I Losing some footage uh, really kind of put me off and otherwise I'm just, I'm trying to just deal with a whole bunch of stuff right now. But I'm, I'm still trying to work on this. Hopefully I get my other videos before the end of the month because I do want to, you know, see this through. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, leave a like and comment below and I will see you in the next video.